Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceful's Tarot. I am about to perform a spread here which is a general reading, a weekly reading from June 8th the 14th for the sign of Taurus. Um, this is a general reading which means it will not resonate with everyone who is watching. If ever uh, this does not sound like your story, check your moon and rising signs. Your message could be there. If not, check back in the following week when I put out a new message for your sign. And um, please show your support by clicking the subscribe, a like and share button like that. I will know that you enjoy them and I will continue to make them. Um, nonetheless, I also have some uh, daily snapshots, um, which I do for every sign. I do some monthlies and I do a bunch of other very interesting little um, spreads throughout the week also. So that being said, let's begin the reading for Taurus for the following week. Well, the following week, starting on June 8th. All right. So, okay, we have the two of swords. We have the Seven of Swords. We have a lot of swords here. There's going to be a lot of uh, intellectual thinking, a lot of consciousness, unconsciousness. We have the Strength. We have the Empress. We have the Magician. And we have Swords here again. And we're going to follow this up and finish it up with our Mermaid Oracle, which is the Sea Beasties. All right. So... Your main uh, emotion feeling for this week, what's going on? Well, this poor little lady here, the Two of Swords, she is blinded, as we can see. But she has blinded herself. Um, you are hiding things from yourself. Difficult, you, there's difficult decisions, um, there's indecision. There's disloyalty, there's treachery, and there's lies. You have this blindfold. You do not want to see what is going on. You have two choices, okay? This is, of, um, you have two, two choices to uh, that you're going to have to pick from. You're going to have to do a little bit of soul searching. It's two very conflicting opinions. Um you're just going to have to listen to your intuition. It's going to be the only answer you're going to have. Listen to your intuition. And um, you will find harmony in this um, situation. In this... Um, in finding the correct choice. Uh, there are two very difficult emotionally related choices here. And... Um, so let's see what's going to go back on. So this is the global, um, the global card for your reading is being blindfolded and um, trying to block things out and having choices, uh, very hard and difficult choices. So listen to your intuition. We're going to go on over here to the Seven of Swords. He is just looking around, trying to get something. Um, you have to be careful with... Um, with this card, with the Seven of Swords, okay? This card is all about thieves. He is a thief. He is going. He's stealing things while nobody is looking. Be careful for thieves. When I mean thieves, I don't necessarily mean they're going to take an object from you. They are taking things from you. Maybe emotionally, maybe something about you they want and they're taking it little by little, which is leaving you no choice here. Okay, so you're going to have to... Um, somebody, somebody needs to be on guard. Okay, there's deception. Um, there, there could even be backstabbing or gossip going around. You need to look around to try and find this person. They are hiding. They do not want you to see them. They are jealous of you and they are trying to hurt you in different ways. There's humiliation. There's sabotage. There's sneaky attacks. Um, so, you know, it could come from friends. You need to be careful of this very 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 important and if you are feeling trapped look for a creative way to liberate yourself find a way to get out find your solution okay following we have the strength card 
she usually has all the strength in the world and she has it to the infinity and beyond with all the passion that she could have but now our little strength um card here is upside down so I'm going to say that um, there's going to be weaknesses there's going to be cowardice you're going to have fear there's going to be embarrassment uh, self-criticism uh, you're, sh you're a little bit shy so uh, this is going to be a little bit of problem also but remember in all of this you have the heart of the line this card has not come out for nothing Okay, you have choices to make. You have somebody who is doing hurtful things for you, backstabbing, talking behind your back, and you have, although you're shy, although you don't know how to do it, you don't want to do it, you're blindfolding yourself from it, you are able to do it. You have the courage to do it. So you need to go do an intro introspection. You need to find that courage. You need to battle them. And once you find that courage, once you battle them, you're going to get your um, you're going to get your answer here with the Empress. The Empress is just quite fantastic here. She is just sitting down. She is just calm. She's taking care of her family. Um, she's all about the emotional well being this is what you want this is what you're working for you need an emotional well being this is not well okay um she is all about um once again it keeps coming back eh she's about secrets mystery there's wisdom there's whispers going around you um intuition follow your intuition okay you need to follow it very important keeps coming back um there's going to be a revelation there's going to be a little bit of a, a silence and you're going to know after this silence a little bit more about your future it's going to tell you about your your future. You are not obliged, let me tell you, to reveal any of your thoughts to anyone, so be very careful. Nobody needs to know about that. The knowledge, the wisdom, everything that you know belongs to you, and sometimes you're better to keep that to yourself, to protect yourself from people who are gossiping around you. Following up, here you go, you've got it under control. You are the magician, you can do whatever you want. You have all the power foes at hand. You have everything, you have uh, the intelligence, you have the strength, you've got your emotions in place. You have all that you need. This is about power, it's about manipulation, diplomacy, self-confidence, talent, uh, willpower. Once again, mystery, you're very mysterious. As a magician, you can do whatever you want. You can make people believe what you want. Very important to make people believe what you want. So this is it for the Magician card and we're going to move on over to the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords is telling us that there's going to be either a conquest or a defeat. Now this is going to be up to you. It's going to depend how you're going to use your magician tricks. Okay, how you're going to figure all of this out to become to have a great well-being, and this is all going to depend on the choice that you're going to make up here. What are you going to do? Are you going to find out this person who is um, who's talking behind your back, who's gossiping, who's trying to uh, to hurt you? in different ways. Um, so this is all about conquest. It's about victory. Um, if you must fight a fight, do it very nice, do it powerful, but make it nice and straight. Okay. Have your um, have your tools with you, have your information with you, get your facts straight to get there and win this battle. There will be a little bit of struggle, but you will get it. You can do it. Following up over here, we have the sea beasties. Our little mermaid, sea beasties, is telling us to be aware of deeply buried thoughts and desires. You probably know that somebody is around doing something, talking about you. You probably have suspicion about this since a little while, but you don't want to um, to nose around, perhaps, or you don't want to confront this person. So this is about your thoughts, your desires, everything that you have buried up below the surface that needs to come out. They could be forgotten, they could be ignored, okay? They could be forgotten, they could be ignored, they could be repressed. Um, you must acknowledge their existence. You must concentrate on beca becoming self-aware and uh, you will become better at understanding all the pieces of your personality, people that are around you, and it will help you be on the right 
path to solve this. So that is it for uh, my friends the Taurus for week June 8 to 14. So beware there's a mischief around you. There's lying and gossiping but you're able to do it. Okay so let's keep our strength of a lion and let's get through this. Use all our tricks in the bag like a magician and you'll be able to roar like a lion and you're going to win this one. So uh, if you did enjoy my reading, please subscribe, like and share and um, you will be able to show me your support that way. It will make me very happy and um, we will see each other again for our daily snapshot and I do the weekly snapshots and the monthly snapshots and if ever you would like a personal reading, romancefultarot at gmail.com. So that being said, many, many blessings to all of you. Thank you for listening, for accepting my message and I wish you a wonderful week.